Hey, what's up, YouTube's manager here. Today I'm doing my full review on the all-new HP Envy M6-N012DX laptop. All right, let's get started. For 2014, HP introduces the all-new HP Envy M6-N012DX laptop. This laptop features the latest Intel Haswell processors, as well as the all-new HP Control Zone trackpad. Let's see if this laptop is worth your money. Alright, let's go ahead and break down the specs. This laptop features a 4th generation Intel Core i5-4200M, 8GB of RAM, 15.6 inch LED backlit high definition touchscreen display, 750GB hard drive running at 5400RPM, Intel wireless display ready. For the graphics, we have an Intel HD 4600. This laptop runs Microsoft Windows 8.1 and the retail price of this laptop is $749.99 US. Also keep in mind there's a lower end model of this laptop called the HP M6-N010DX laptop. That version features an AMD A10, 6GB of RAM, a low resolution panel, and the retail price is $629.99 US. Alright, for this section let's talk about design and build quality. For the exterior we have a silky soft touch finish in natural silver. And the interior features a glass fiber-like construction that looks stunning. Take a look at this interior. It looks amazing. This laptop weighs 6.1 pounds and measures just 1.2 inches thick. I feel like HP did an excellent job in terms of design and build quality. This laptop overall just looks stunning. This laptop is slightly heavier than most 15-inch laptops. However, you can tell HP put a lot of craftsmanship into this laptop. Alright, for this section let's test out the boot speed on the 750GB 5400 RPM hard drive. HP logo now. And we're done. This laptop booted up in about 14 seconds, which is slightly faster than average. Alright, let's go and take a look at the ports here on the left side of the laptop. Starting from the left, you got your Kensington security slot, exhaust port for your fans, HDMI output, two USB 3.0 ports, an SD card reader, and your hard drive and power status indicators. Next up, let's take a look at the ports here on the right side of the laptop. Here you got your AC charging port, Ethernet port, two USB 2.0 ports, and a headset port. For this section, let's talk about this gorgeous 15.6 inch LED backlit high definition touchscreen display with a resolution of 1920 by 1080. Colors and text look magnificent on this panel. Overall, I've been highly impressed by the panel that HP put into this laptop. Take a look at the color of these images here. They just pop. All right, let me go ahead and click this link. Brightness has also been very good, no issues with brightness at all. Next up, let's talk about touchscreen performance. This laptop features a 15.6 inch capacitive touchscreen display. Alright, let's get started. Alright, let's go and browse this MSN website. Two finger scrolling has been very smooth and precise. Multi-touch has been excellent as well. Alright, let's go and click on this link right here. Let's take a look at the 2015 Jaguar F-Type. There goes the all new Lamborghini. The Audi A3. Alright, let's go and take a look at some text here on the Lamborghini. Let me go and zoom right in. As you can see, the text looks very sharp. Overall, the touchscreen performance on this panel has been great. Alright, for this section, let's test out the viewing angles on this 15.6 inch non-IPS display. Alright, let's go and rotate to the left. Still pretty visible at this angle. Alright, let's go and rotate a little further. As you can see here now, it's starting to fade. Overall, the viewing angles from the side to side were good considering it's not an IPS display. Alright, let's test out the viewing angles by tilting the display back. And that's 100% right there. Next up, let's talk about keyboard performance. This laptop features a standard full-size keyboard, as well as a 10-key numeric keypad. It's been a pleasure typing on this keyboard. This keyboard offers excellent feedback and very good key travel. Let me go and show you a sample of the key travel. As you can see here, the key travel on this laptop is very good. Overall, I've been highly satisfied with the keyboard on this laptop. Next up, let's test out the backlighting on the backlit keyboard. Let me go and show you a sample here. There's only one mode, either on or off. The backlit keys are well lit. I just wish there was a brightness control option on this laptop. Alright, for this section, let's go and talk about trackpad performance. This laptop features a Synaptix trackpad that is slightly too sensitive for my taste. However, with time, you should get adjusted to this trackpad. The response times from the two finger scrolling and multi-touch gestures were average. Overall, I would rank this trackpad performance as fair. All new for 2014 is the all new HP Control Zone trackpad, which was previously introduced on the all new HP Spectre series. The all new HP Control Zone trackpad gives you easy access to the multitasking tray and the charms menu. Let me give you a brief demo of the all new HP Control Zone trackpad in action. Let me go and activate the multitasking tray. 
Simply click on the left side of the control zone trackpad to activate the multitasking tray. Let's go and take a look at the sports. Let's take a look at our food menu. Alright, let's go back to our desktop. Next up, let's go and activate our charms menu by simply clicking down on the right side of the control zone trackpad. And just like that, you have easy access to your charms menu and multitasking tray thanks to the all new HP control zone trackpad. Alright, next up let's talk about processor performance. This laptop features an Intel Core i5-4200M running at 2.5GHz with a turbo boost up to 3.1GHz. The performance from this processor has been very good. Whether I'm browsing the web, exporting a 1080p video clip, or playing light to medium duty games, this processor was up to the challenge. And to back that up, let's go and take a look at some Geekbench 3 performance scores. This is a 64-bit version. For the single core score, I got 3090. And for the multi-core score, I got a score of 6337. Let's take a look at another benchmark. This is Cinebench R15. For the CPU, I got a score of 298 CB. What about graphics performance? This laptop features the Intel HD 4600, which offers solid performance. It even matches the performance of some older dedicated GPUs like the NVIDIA GT630M. For this test, I'm using Cinebench R15. For the OpenGL, I got a score of 28.78 frames per second. With this kind of performance, you can expect to play games like Minecraft, Call of Duty Ghosts, Battlefield 4, The Elder Scrolls Online, and Titanfall for example. The sound quality from these Beats Audio speakers has been very good. Mids and highs sound crisp and clear. And with the Beats Audio Graphic Equalizer, you can fine tune these settings just the way you prefer. With an easy to remove bottom cover, HP has made it easy to upgrade your components. Here you got your standard 2.5 inch hard drive. Two DIMM slots for your RAM. The RAM is expandable to 16GB. I'll leave a link in the description for the type of RAM you'll need. Here goes your Intel Dual Band AC3160 wireless card. Oh, by the way, this card has been working flawlessly. No issues with dropouts or connections. Let me get you a better view of the cover open. For this section, we're going to test out the 750GB 5400RPM hard drive using Crystal Dismart. For the sequential read speed, I got a score of 104.3 megabytes a second. For the sequential write speed, I got a score of 102.4 megabytes a second. With these kind of speeds, you can expect average performance from your operating system. For the best performance, I recommend upgrading to a solid state drive. Battery performance has been good considering its higher clock speed of 2.5 gigahertz with the all new Intel i5-4200M. On average, I'm able to get around 5 to 6 hours out of a full charge with screen brightness at around 75%. Fan noise and temperature control on this laptop has been very good. During normal usage, I could barely hear the fan. The only time I could hear the fan screaming was when I was exporting a 1080p video clip. For better temperature control, HP moved the heatsink and the exhaust port to the left side of the laptop for better heat management. Alright, this concludes my review on the all new HP M6-N012DX laptop. If you enjoyed this review, please click that like button and please subscribe for more upcoming videos. Alright, thanks for watching. Peace.